Hello, hello. Hello, guys. Hello, everybody. Welcome. It's Tuesday. Oh, you put up your, I just see you put up your YouTube button. Yes, finally. For like 10 years, it's been in the box, you know, like, and I'm like, oh, I have this. So, uh, oh, yes, yes, this is my. Oh, I'm not gonna take it. I, I no problem. I will probably drop it after all these years, and I'll, I'll break it. So anyway, that's my button right. for reaching. Uh, what is it? Ten thousand subscribers. I'm um, sorry. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. So if you're not following me on YouTube, guys, go and follow me because if I reach, I think I think if I'm not if I'm if I'm correct, it's a million. You have to get a. Mm million and then you get another button so yes i'm about five hundred thousand short of million <laughs> I'm so, my guys, so you can see um us wearing i'm wearing very springy shirt and marlin is like Marlin is not in spring montreal is not having any spring weather right now so yes it's um although it's been very monsoon like here raining for two weeks straight Everything seems to be alive. All the green is just blossoming. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Kristen. We're not going to sing, but happy birthday. Yeah, you don't want us to sing. <laughs> no, you, no, you, no, you don't want me to sing. No. Hello. Hi, Lynn. Kathy. Oh, my goodness. Everybody's joining in. So we're so glad that you guys are here. Knoxville, Tennessee. I think I've been to Knoxville. Yes. We both. We both have. Yes. Together. Together, actually. Yes. So welcome. So today, and today is on my the, day. On the decorating block, what do we call it? The chopping block? The <laughs> I don't know. You I, I don't know what we are calling it, but so I have Hello. So I have several things that we'll be doing today. So hopefully we can fit it all in. I prepared another East tutorial, guys, for you. And I already, I'm going to kick it off. So just to show you, I put these templates or the, the transfer sheets in my coffee shop. These are for the Easter baskets and also Easter eggs. I will show you how to make those today. So you guys can uh, grab those from the coffee shop and then follow the tutorial. And I will have a tutorial also hopefully on the blog within a few days. I'm also going to use a um, um, uh, stripe stencil. Now you can get a stripe stencil readily available, but if you don't have one, or if you, even if you don't have an airbrush, you could still use, I'm gonna be using airbrush today, you could still use one of those, um, what are they called? Air, uh, the, not the hairspray, uh, <laughs> oh, yes, can. The, the mist, the mist, and then you can make yourself a stencil out of um, cardstock. That's what I used. I use the cardstock and you can find a detailed tutorial how to do it on my blog. It's super simple. And then um, I used, I'm going to be using a tool from Sweet Sugar Bell. This is a stencil holder and you can secure your stencil in there and it works really great. Okay. So I will be using that. So let me just uh, bring up, um, let's start with, uh, I'm going to show you how to do the eggs first because we'll be using those today. So. I used my um, template and I put the template inside uh, of the protector sheet. So you can see how slow I'm piping. This is the actual speed. This is a pre-recorded version. And I used various colors. And then we have to let that dry. Once it dries, um, obviously you can do different designs, wet on wet or so, but I wanted to go with the classic and that's the speckled eggs. So to make those, I actually used um, brown airbrush color and I dipped a brush in the color and then I just used a scribe to kind of move the bristles and it created really nice eggs. Mm -hmm. And I have those actually here. So let me show you the eggs. I got those here. Let me bring up my camera. Oh, sorry, Han. I was gonna. Okay. Oh. <laughs> in the kitchen there you go all right so there you go finally you can see all the specs here that's from the the color so here are the eggs these are ready to go so all you have to do is you you remove them from the acid this is basically basically acetate kind of a material and 
you can see using this, oops, let me show you the, the back. You see how smooth that is? If I was to use parchment or wax paper, it would be uh, slightly wrinkled. So this is a perfect finish. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna show you how to do the basket. So for the it's, basket, sorry, okay. Han, uh, it's royal icing. So yes. So today I'm using royal icing. No buttercream today. It's all royal icing. However, I think you could get you could actually make the eggs with buttercream, uh, but you have to. I think you you could use a stencil of some sorts, just um, right or um, something like that, and then maybe you can use. Um, cocoa powder like I did before to create a spackling, spa spackling the, the dots. Cindy, right. you can freeze them. I think the time you can freeze them varies if you wrap them well, you know, like the packaging that you freeze your cookies in. How long have you frozen your cookies for, Han? Three months. Three months? Yeah. Up to three months, yes. I think if you, if you package them well and if your freezer doesn't contain any kind of like smelly foods, like even in a freezer, I feel like it can kind of contaminate the, um, the, the the smell. So if you like wrap them really well, it, they may even last for longer, you know? Okay, so to make the baskets, again, this is the, the template that you guys can get in a coffee shop and I have it in, my, in a pre sheet protector. I included the handle, although I'm not gonna be doing a, doing a handle on the acetate, I will do a handle on a cookie. Reason being is because it's so fine, it it would most likely break. Okay, and it also gives you some freedom of where to put the put the uh, basket, and then you can like let um, I'll show you later. But let's say your bunny, it, we're gonna use bunny to hold the basket. So if you are putting it, let's say too high, and then the the handle can kind of interfere with its face, so you have no way of changing that. Okay, if you do the the handle. So I'm going to do a really quick basket weave. Oh, let me just zoom this in. And I'm using, this is a piping tip number two, and I've got my bag. I used ivory and I also added purple icing to this to tint it to make it more um, tannish, if that's the word. <laughs> is that the word, tannish? Well, brownish, I guess, so it's like so the, the tones are right. I mean, it's more, it's not even a color difference. It's like a tone difference. It just you could also make it. You could obviously make it white. I mean, the baskets. If you look at the baskets for Easter. Oh yeah, you can make them any color you want. Pink even if you. Yes. You know, whatever. You can make it pink. You could airbrush it. You could do so many different things. So this is very simple. I'm not really going for perfection here. Because if you were to, if you are going to make all of these, you know, you have to kind of do them pretty fast. If the hand did another um, basket weave live stream a couple of weeks ago, if you guys want to see a slightly different version, she did it in buttercream. It was a larger scale. And it was with the, with the started. Now with this, the started it would have to be super, super small. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna start with this. Now you see, I did. Uh, let me do another one. Really quickly. So, what's your consistency? This is pretty thick. It's not. You don't want to use icing that is too too runny. But for this, you don't want to use icing that is too too stiff because if you're making a lot of these, your hand is going to start cramping up. So, yes. I would say maybe um, you could you could get away with 30 seconds, I think, because it's starting to like. I I don't know if you can see. It's kind of like starting to fall together, but it's never going to fall together. So it kind of like creates the texture. Okay, um, so just I'm, I'm, doing, right I'm doing the vertical line, yes. Katie's uh, saying her cookies, um, you know, condensation issues. If I can just say, put them from the freezer to the fridge instead of from the freezer to the counter, and it reduces the condensation because it's changes and so oh, I think when you freeze them try not to freeze them horizontally freeze them vertically so there is less pressure on the cookie like if you're stacking them like this it creates pressure and it could also interfere with the how the icing comes out so instead of that try to stack them like that so they are 
vertically. Am I making the sense? sense? So Victoria is saying, what's the benefit of using the piping tip instead of just having a tip list? That's um, for this, I just find that the line is coming out uh, nicer. It gives a better result for, I mean, yeah, I just find it just works better for this particular design. And, and the other thing, if I can say, some of the tipless bags are not that strong. And so if you're working yes. with thicker icing, you can cause a blowout. The plastic yeah, is sure. thicker on the bags with the piping tip. Now I'm going to do that beaded border at the very top. So like a drop, pressure, pressure release. Kim and then you have to let this dry, okay? Kim so wants to know who are you today? Kim, how are you? We we are okay. We are okay. So this has to dry, okay? So these are all dry, and I already did the brushing on these, but I'm just going to demonstrate it anyway. So you don't have to do this. This is an optional step, but if you wanted to give it a little bit uh, more uh, kind of like dramatic look, you can use this is a cappuccino, Roxy and Rich Petal Dust. It's uh, fully edible, and I'm just oh, not this one. Sorry. Let's do a small brush. Oh, did I? Okay, never mind. So you want to dip that in, shake the excess. You don't want to add too much. I think that it also adds a more realistic look because like the basket yes. wouldn't be shiny. So it makes yes. it a little bit more matte. So you're basically just going to brush that on. Amber will be joining us on Friday. She's not here today. Friday is, uh, if you want to come back on Friday at 1, she'll be, she'll be there. Okay, so now these are dry, so we can add um, our decorations. Now for the decorations, I am going to use, oh, again, this is clogging up, as always. I'm going to use some sprinkles. You know, guys, like now is the good time to start getting those Easter sprinkles. I've got here some um, Easter eggs. Well, hi, Denise. Um, well, it depends on how <laughs> I can define quick. I've done many of these. So, um, but you could also, if, if you're struggling with piping, what you could do, you could make a little, like Marlene makes stencils, right? So you could make a little stencil and use that and then just do it right on a cookie. It, it wouldn't have the texture. Or you could then, you could stencil and then maybe airbrush with a, like, you know, if you are as skilled as Mar, you could create um, two stencils, right, Mar? Is that possible? Sure. Yes, it is. She will do it next time. <laughs> so, so I'm going to use these. These are really lovely egg-shaped sprinkles. I also have these. These are similar spring colors, pastel blooms, really pretty for the spring. And then these are um, Jimmy's. This is my favorite kind of a sprinkle because these are soft. This is IKEA, Emily. IKEA. <laughs> all the way. I am like, we bought, I think we bought all of them at the one, one time. We, uh, hello, Fabiola, Mexican connection. Um, so yes, yeah, so the spr the sprinkles are. These are from Etsy. I can't remember the shop. Um, lovely, lovely sprinkles, different kinds of greens. So you could use these for the grass. And the other ones, I don't remember. Marshalls probably. All right. So I'm gonna start. Am I talking too much again? Well, I mean, it's kind of hard to do it without talking. So talk away. Talk away. So this is the really fun part where you're just going to add some green. This is for the grass kind of. So you, you could just dump in like sprinkles. Right. I mean, you, you know, notice I'm trying to avoid piping the icing uh, on the very edge here because I'm going to add that handle, remember? No, 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 not sprinkles. Uh, although, although maybe they have some sprinkles, I don't know. So that's I've never thing. seen them there. Nothing. We have to push for it, though. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, no, the 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 the, my little my little jars. They are from IKEA. They are they come in set of four. Okay. So um, normally I would use my little shovel, but let's just do this instead. And then little grass. I can't find my little shovel. Where is it? Here it is. Now, this template is not free. It's going to be available for all my patrons, and it's in my coffee shop. 
Now for the eggs, it's ideal to use, um, if we can find it, hello, oh, hello, there it is. Hi, Joseph. So I'm going to just add some lovely, yellow is always welcome in my life, something happy. Easter eggs in there. This is a great way. Like we buy all the sprinkles, we see them, they're so pretty, and then we get them home and we're like, what do I do with them? So this is a great idea to use up. Obviously, all the sprinkles this is buy. pretty tedious. So I mean you could just use a you could just maybe mix them up, create your own mix and just dump it on. Okay. And you can start these now. Uh, uh, Easter is April 17th, I think, but you can start these now. Yes. I mean, and these transfers, they will last you for next year as well. So, hello, hello. So now I'm going to let that dry, and now we can remove these. Um, you can see how I'm going to remove them. They pop right out. You can see how cute they are. You don't even need a handle. I, I suppose you could use without a handle. But I think it's just going to complete it adding the handle. Okay, and these will also store easier without the handle. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside and then move along. Next thing, I'm going to show you how I created really tiny, tiny royal icing um, bowls. Okay, so let me just quickly uh, show you. I used the, uh, this is a PME tip that I'm using. PME tip, Marlene would know. Gosh, I can see it's a SD50. It's a leaf. It's a leaf tip. And I'm using, I created myself this, this template. So the uh, loop or the each side of the bow would be approximately the same length. And I'm kind of tucking each loop under a little bit at the beginning. These are very, very small. I'll show you in a second because we're gonna paint those with gold. April 17th, happy early birthday, Gwen. Boris, Gwen. So these bows, I'm going to use those um, to decorate my bunnies. I know you're waiting for those bunnies to appear. They will, I promise, I promise you. But I made so many different decorations to go with them. I went a little crazy. So these bows, you can make these also ahead of time and just store them in an airtight container. And again, this is a piping tip from PME brand ST50. Why is it? SD. Oh, is it super tube? Is that why they call it super tube? I have no idea. I just want to explain if anybody is new to cookie decorating. So this is royal icing. Royal icing dries hard. It's different from buttercream and things you'll find on a cake. And so it allows for working in advance. So maybe you're short on time to make fancy cookies. You can't make them in a weekend. Well, if you use royal icing, you can do so many. You can start the decorating process way before you even bake your cookies. So this is what she's doing. She's doing all her little steps, and it'll all come together and make sense in a minute. So now um, I've got my bows here. Some of them already got kind of, I was moving oh. around, so they got separated from the, you can lift them up. Look how cute. That's how tiny. big they are. They're super tiny, okay? So now uh, if you wanted to make those, I did those in ivory on purpose because I wanted to add some gold. So I'm using... Happy early birthday. Who else is uh, in April? Wow, everybody's celebrating birthday. Your son is 22nd, so that's he's also April. Yeah, he's, his birthday is on Earth Day. Earth Day. So this is an edible decorative cake paint. It's metallic champagne gold by Sweet Sticks. I've had this for a while. It's fantastic. I love it because I don't have to mix with anything. It's ready to go. It's more expensive, but it does last for a while. So I'm just going to add a few drops here. And then with my um, paintbrush, I'm going to mix that in. Now we're going to paint these. Now, ideally, you don't want to remove them from the backing because it's just easier to paint these when they are still kind of sticking yes. to, to the surface. But if that happens, if they uh, get, uh, you know, if they get loose, you could use a, 
scribe or a um, toothpick to hold them in place. Or you could, um, Mar, Mar would probably airbrush these, which would be really easy, but I don't have a really nice gold airbrush color that would create this lustrous gold. So that's why I'm painting those. Is there a good, good like uh, airbrush gold that you would recommend that creates a really nice, like a, you know, it, like, like a true gold color, like very shiny? Well, the one I've been using, it's by Magic Color. That's the company, Magic Color. And they make a very nice gold. The thing is, is there's a few factors with regard to the airbrush gold. It's little particles, right? And some of them clog the airbrush. So this particular product is not so bad for the clogging and it does give a nice gold, but you have to color the icing like Han there. She made her icing a uh, light yellowish gold color and then she paints with the metallic. If not, it would be kind of washed out, wouldn't be as uh, bright. Yes, you exactly. Know? You want to, when, you, when you're doing gold, you want to go, um, you want to tint your icing um, like um, more natural like um ivory or gold with a little bit of brown when you're doing silver go with a little bit of gray and like let's say if you're doing a uh, red luster that light red um metallic you want to go with red it, you're just going to get better coverage co co coverage that's <laughs> all so, all right so here are my bows and i can remove them look how cute and these adorable very cute and that. So this is how big they are. And this is done again with the PME piping tip. Let me just show you this tip. This is the tip. It doesn't even look like a leaf tip. It has a very small opening and it works for this really, really well. Okay. okay. It looks like a little beak. Yes. All right. So that's that. Now we are going to, I think we are headed the right direction. Um, so happy belated birthday, Debbie. Happy. When was yours? Ninth. The ninth. Mine was in March. Yes. So you are Pisces as well. So mine was March 17th. So happy. We're not in April yet, right? It's March 29th today. No, but, you know, think about it. I, I just was thinking just before I was working on some posts. We're already a quarter. Oh, done. don't start. Don't start. We're done 2022. Oh, yes. It's, it's, quite, uh, it's quite something. Time flies. Yes. All right, guys, so we are ready for the bunnies, or I'm ready for the bunnies. So let me just show you the cutter I use. Oh, uh, where is my other? Uh oh Those bows could work for so many different projects. I can, I can drop something. Oh, here it is. Here hey, it is. Those, those bows would work for Mother's Day if you're doing maybe little yes. uh, little bouquets or little so, things. This is a cutter I'm going to be using today. This is a really lovely cutter from a company called R&M International. If you haven't heard of them, you can uh, find them. They mainly sell on, uh, I think, their website or a lot of the cutters that you probably even have. They come from them uh, on Amazon. They do. They, I don't think they. I don't think their current cutter matches this particular, this exact design, but it's very, very similar. And I'm sure you can find a sitting bunny like this um, from other companies as well. And also, I use the cutter. Who can tell me what cutter is this? Mm, anyone? Mm. anyone? 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 Anyone in the comments? Please let us know what this cutter is. So this is a cutter from Sweet Sugar Bell, and I wanted to quickly just bring my box of uh, the cutters of these minis from Kali. Some of these I haven't even unpacked. Uh, Marlene has also used these in her right recently. You, I think you used this cutter recently. Yes. These are fantastic. You see, they are still packaged. I mean, this is such a nice set, all the minis. This, I, when I saw this, it rem reminded me of a molar a tooth, you know? To run a... <laughs> so this cutter that I'm using, this strawberry cutter comes from this set, okay? And I used it to, I used it to make cute little carrots. So let me just start. Oh, hi, Life Prepared. I assume that's not your name, but I love your um, screen name. Love it. So, yes, if you guys didn't know, you can watch the previous live streams, and we have, like, other videos, but the, if you enjoy the live streams, there's a bunch. We've been doing it now for a year and a half. Is it two years? No, two years. Two years, actually, now. I think in April, we, we should probably 
celebrate in April. So we have to find out when we started first. Yes, it is a strawberry. Yes, it's a strawberry and I am going to use it as a um, carrot. So let me bring up my first, uh, this is a pre-recorded video, how I started with the bunny. So, oh, let me, oh, hold on. Let me just show you one more thing before I forget. Here is my, I created, and this is completely um, optional. It's not necessary, but for myself, I created this little template and I used the marker um, around the head just so I would have, um, you know, an idea where the head and ears are, but it's not something you have to do. Okay, so let's start. So this is the template and I am using actually yellow marker instead of um, brown marker just to create the guide for the ears and for the head. And I also made a slightly um, different design on the bottom just so the legs would be more separated. And then um, we're going to do gingham, which I absolutely love. And I've used gingham design many times in the past. I have several posts on the blog. So I usually start with white. Do you start with different color, Mar? Would you start? I was considering if I should start with a different color, but I think white just works for this um, pattern really, really well. What do you mean? If you're airbrushing on top? Yeah, yeah. If I'm if I'm airbrushing, like if I was thinking, like if I'm doing, let's say, pink, I, I could start with very, very like light pink. But I think it would it would it wouldn't work. I don't know. Or we would just. Well, no, it would it would look fine if you're doing light pink and pink. But like you have to be careful if you're doing, let's say you had a yellow base and you came in and you wanted to do blue stripes. Well, they would yes. probably be green. Yes, yes, it would be. Yeah, it would be green. Yes. So that, oh, yeah, that would, that would be. Yes. So, yeah, you have to be careful. Yes, exactly. So if you're doing different colors, you have to make uh, each color basically and light a lot lighter shade. So using a white kind of like eliminates that problem. You just uh, ice all of the money with white. And then you have to let that dry. And remember in the beginning of the live, I showed you my little stencil and a stencil holder. So this is the stencil. You can see the color on the paper. It's been uh, used many, many times. And uh, I'm just going to airbrush with, this is a green airbrush color. I use different colors. I have pink, yellow, blue, purple. Um, yes, and uh, yeah, I think, uh, and the pink, did I say pink? Yes. And then you take the air, do you take the stencil holder and you place it perpendicular to the lines you did before? You could also do it on an angle, just have a little fun with it and see which which way you like it the best. And then, and then, then I would say when you're airbrushing, don't go heavy, go very light, and just rather go several times over it than doing one heavy coat. And then you can well, listen. Especially I can say, especially if you're using a paper stencil, because if you soak it, you'll really like the paper will absorb and it'll get soggy and all that. So you want yes, to try yes, that's true. That's true. That's that's absolutely true. Now, the next step would be doing the head. So you can do that right after you airbrush. And again, I'm using, I think I'm using for this. It's not uh, super runny. Um, it's about 20 seconds, I would say. Even for the base, it wasn't super, super runny. So we're going to do the head with white, and then we have to let that crust again. And here I'm using a T-plus bag, and I have actually these listed in my Amazon shop if you wanted to check those out. So um, she did wait for the white to dry before airbrushing. It's just- Yes, it's, it's I did. I, I did wait because you want the stencil to be kind of like sitting snugly on top of the icing, and if the icing was wet, it would stick to it. No matter if you're using a um, plastic stencil or, um, or a paper stencil, it doesn't really matter. So um, if it sticks to the icing, then it would mess up your design. So I find it, it's best to let it at least crust, at least like do a heavy crust, having, having a heavy crust on your icing works really well. Now we're going to do the ears. So for the ears, I option for the pink. And again, this icing is on a thicker side because these are quite small sections and you don't want to have cratering in your icing. So I would say 25 seconds even, or even slightly more. And then um, I'm just going to agitate the icing with a scribe to smooth it. You can see how thick it is. So now with the icing, I'm just going to agitate and it's going to smooth. That's a nice so pink. It is a nice pink. It's a, like you say, kitchen sink pink. <laughs> oh, 
Perfect. So it's uh, unknown. <laughs> it's uh, yes. Jane, what, what did we say? Jane, Jane Doe? If you don't know, I, I think I yeah. have to give it a color of the brands. It's probably a uh, strawberry or strawberry. Yes, it could be watermelon -ish. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes, that is true. So this is a rather small section here because his uh, eye is the eye. His ear is uh, or her ear is um, what do you call it? Folded or? Um, I think you can look, uh, Linan, you can look um, food alerts on their website. I believe they introduced a new, um, not, not a new product, but they sell the markers by a set, right? Like two, like two I color. think even individually. I just put the brand there on this, on, in the comments. Yes, and I, think that, yeah, I think that's what they do. Yeah, pretty sure yeah. they sell you actually had told me about it. I, if I can remember, yeah, I think I do remember. You had told me that they sell the markers like that, which is great, I think, because sometimes you really just want one color or, you know, you, let's say you use most of the, let's say you just use brown most of the time. So you have all the colors. You don't need another set of all the, you know, rainbow colors. Now I'm going to wait now and let it crust and then I'll do the this little bit here, okay? I'm letting it cross because I wanted to create definition in there. So if you, if I was to do it right away, it would just blend together. This way I have a nice definition there. All right, so now I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I think we, we are ready to do this cute little bunny. So here, here he is, you can see it's fully kind of dry here. So I'm going to, um, so should I do, I'm gonna do two, uh, what how are we on time we have time so um do you want me to do basket or an egg i'll do both but um, i think you want to see both both oh both okay all right so, so if you haven't watched a live in a while now we've changed the format pan takes up the whole a lot oh, yeah. yeah 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 get used to it <laughs> i'm here for the whole hour <laughs> and then uh the fall you know next one it we have a different like schedule there, but it might be. Uh, I know Friday it's amber, and so Tuesday might right. be. So here is my little basket that we made. Look how cute, right? You can see there are some some gaps there. It's fine. I wouldn't worry about that at all. So what I'm gonna do? I'm going to glue it on my little bunny here. What color are you gonna glue it with? White. I'm just I'm I'm actually going to uh, use white. You could use a green or other color, but I'm gonna use white and I'm just going to pipe it on the sections that don't have that those gaps in there. You don't need hot of icing to glue this on. And I'm using a little shifting motion in there. Here we go. And I'm going to come in with my, remember I told you about um, piping the handle? So now I'm going to do the handle. Let me zoom in so you guys can see better. Oh, Carol, they're cheaper than that if you buy them from Food Doodler directly. That's, that's expensive for one marker. Thanks, Angie. And there. So, Cynthia is asking how long you've been decorating for, and did you start with cakes first? I did. Um, I did not start with the cakes, but I will. I have to say, I found my my um, my um, my first cousin. Thing. My cousin kept. Um, picture of me and my first very first gingerbread house which is totally embarrassing it's from 2003 actually that gingerbread house but i didn't officially start decorating cookies um till i think 2008 was the was when i first did my first set of christmas cookies and i played with buttercream glaze and all different mediums fondant i did some cakes along the way but cookies are just 
kind of, you know, they stick with me, like they're, they're my heart. <laughs> so when did you start Darlin? Well, when I had the kids, you start, you know, um, doing little things for the kids. So my daughter was born in 2002, uh, Jesus. And so um, I made her first birthday cake. And then when she was, I guess, five, I made my first cookies. So that's a ways away. Yeah, started so on YouTube in 2010, I think. You started on YouTube in 2010? Okay. Yeah. So now I'm using, um, this is a number two. It's on a thicker side also. So I'm going to do um, arms. So I'm just so going requesting to... that you post that video of your, that photo of yourself uh, with no, your. I, 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 I... <laughs> I will. I will. It's terrible. But what's terrible about like, well, it's not terrible. It's a process, you know, it's, it's a process. It was my very first gingerbread house. And I remember, I remember it so vividly. Like I was so excited. And I was showing my mother, and my mother was like, "Oh my god!" Like, she, you know, like you could, I could, I could tell that she was like, "Oh, this is horrible." But she didn't say anything. And it's like you'll see. I'll send you a picture. I had a really good giggle about that. But we start. We all start somehow, right? Exactly. So, yeah. um, I just want to answer Denise here. So, Denise, you're looking for um, a company that sells stencils where you don't have to pay a fortune in shipping. So you have, uh, if you don't want to make your own stencils if you visit a site called aliexpress there's actually quite a few sellers that offer free shipping the products i'm um, usually when there's free shipping the price is hidden of the shipping cost in the products but you'll see the prices are quite surprisingly low there so that might be interesting and then your other option is to cut your own stencils purchase a cutting machine and then you can cut all the stencils you could ever possibly need and not worry about the shipping, or you could do it with an exacto knife. Pam hand cuts her um, stencils. Yes, I'm a, yeah, I'm a. That. On AliExpress, the prices, you'll be shocked. I'm a very expensive stencil machine. <laughs> and I run on, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't drink coffee, but. Wow, wow. So now I'm going to, uh, I'm switching to a T plus and I'm just going to, and this is optional. I really, I mean, I just think it makes it a bit more finished when you include the, the outlines here, but. I just had a thought in your little basket. You could put uh, the carrot sprinkles in there. Oh, yeah. If you, yes, that's a good idea. So here it is. And now I'm going to do the face. Now, the face, I kept the face very, very simple. Just wanted to use, we're just going to use a marker brush. And this is for the blush I'm using. This is Crystal Colors Baby Pink U.S. Certified Food Color Made in USA. <laughs> this is a petal dust, which is mainly used in, I would say, cake decorating or, or gum paste or fondant, where you use this to decorate, make flowers. But you could use it on, um, on royal icing as well. Okay. So first I am using, this is a marker by... Uh, Rainbow dust. This is a black marker. I think this is probably one of the most used fine tip markers. It's very ever. nice product. It's a very nice product. Unfortunately, uh, do these come in a set of ten? Do you, I don't. I, I've never seen them. I, you can buy that individually. Individually, yes. So yes, because I do have different colors, but black is the one that I use the most. And this is a tip I will be using today. You see, it's like a super super fine tip. And you don't want to use that pen on the cookies yes i would probably reserve um, reserve this to use on royal icing for fine details like eyelashes and i'm going to use it to uh, make the eyes let me just where's my prototype so um there's the, the few susan saying she did her first birthday cake in 92 debbie i got her hooked 
four years ago. Uh, yes, of course you can cut your stencils with a Cricut. I think there's other machines too that you can use. A Barney Cake in 97 by Lynn Ann. Barney, gosh, I remember Barney. <laughs> Yes, it's it's good and bad, right, Angie? Ha being able to manufacture your own tools. And then Carol made her daughter's first cake in 1980 and decorated her first cookie. 1980? Well, that would be my first birthday cake as well. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, right, 1980, yes, it would be my first. So you technically made a, made a birthday cake for me as well. Wow. Wow, I want you want hundred each time you entered. That's awesome. Especially that's if you didn't know it was a it was a contest the first time. That's kind of that's that's wonderful. So now actually I used the fine marker to mark the eyes, and I'm I'm switching to the to the other um, um, tip that this marker uh, possesses. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I'm using that to make the eye slightly bigger, and I'm using. I'm gonna be doing this oval shape here. Okay. Does he look sad? It, it looks kind of weird. So now for the whiskers, I'm just going again with a fine tip marker on a side here. I'm gonna turn him. I just find it easier for me. Okay. And now um, we want to add a little bit of that blush. So I'm just gonna dip. Let me put that aside just, just so I don't accidentally this over and i'm just dipping this in she's so saying her first cake had a fish pond and she put a real fish in it I, I that's what i'd like to see that's i would like to see that and i'm just using circular motion and that's blush funny. There are a number of ways you can add blush. You can add blush using wet or wet. You could use powder, or you could also use edible marker. You could also airbrush. I've seen more to airbrushing. You could also do a pipe a dot of icing on top on top of it on top of icing. Now instead of blowing, I'm going to use. Um, um, now in the COVID, we do not blow on our food. <laughs> so just you know, you a little air will take care of it. And now, what did I forget, guys? What did I forget? Anyone? Anyone? Uh, that was the thing that you made before. What's that? <laughs> the thing I made before. You just remember the last element she you made? Guys, you lie. What did I forget? <laughs> OK, so here's my little cute little bow. It's so small that you can barely see it. Now, these you can make uh, directly on a cookies. I would uh, just probably mark the, like make probably the whole little mark, like a little um, dots or something to kind of give you an idea where to start piping the loop, because otherwise you might not have the loops the same length. Might be a little wonky. Uh, yes, there are different uh, brands of, uh, of airbrush. And there is the bunny. So now I'm going to switch to the pink one, and we're going to think one is going to hold the egg. So now you have to help me with the color of the egg. I think we're going to go with the blue or yellow, or which, one, which color should I go with? Blue? I have blue, yellow. I'm not going to go with the pink for obvious reasons, but I also have green. So. They first remembered. One, oh, oh, 1995. First one telling me which one should I go with. I'm going to do that. So you have blue, yellow, and green. Which egg should this bunny hold? So what color do you guys want to see on there? What color do you want to see? Oh, I forget. I also have the carrot. So I tap strawberry and I, I actually used a, a large strawberry cutter many years ago to create 30 designs, 30 different designs, which also includes two, uh, like this chubby carrot and one is a bunch of carrots. If you wanted to check it out and maybe use that for inspiration. Blue, Lynn Ann. So I'm glad you said blue because I also like the blue. So the process is basically the same. Oh, okay. Too late. <laughs> So process is the same. So we're just going to see how smooth that is. 
the back it's just so beautiful well, so you know the thing the thing is is because it's so smooth you could actually you depending on the design you could use that side up oh yeah you could use also that side up so now you see how it's not level so what i do a little shifting motion you don't want to put too much pressure on it but when you do a little shifting will help and it's going to be a little cool. like installing tile <laughs> Yes. You have to shift it when you put it on the ground. Yes. Yes, yeah, like installing tile. Okay. <laughs> That's a new new term to use with the cookies. Now, which tip was to use was used to make the, the little little bowl? That's a PME. <sighs> it's it says, I swear, I don't understand their marks. It's ST50. Yeah, their numbers are different than now. Uh, SD50, and underneath it says that I honestly even don't know how to read this. Super tube? Yeah. Like, I, I, mean, like, yeah I would understand if it says super tube, but super or supper. And the anyway, So it's ST50, and it's a very small leaf tip, which is going to create other small leaves, or you could use it to make these tiny little bows. Okay. So the brand is PME. They're the only manufacturers of these tips. And then Dina wants to know the marker again. It's a rainbow dust brand marker. Do you have a picture of your first cookies? This cutter, uh, let me, I'm gonna get a ruler. Let me just do this on. I think I have a, a few of the first kind of cookies, but I don't know what it, like my official first ever project, what it was, you know? Like I did a few and I have pictures, but they're, you know, I don't you know. Really. was the very first. first. The, the first. decorated cookies definitely, definitely for me was buttercream. And uh, well, no, I actually did some back home, but when I was younger, let me just get the ruler. It's somewhere behind me. Looks like it might be four inches, something like that. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. So let me just. Oh my gosh. Emily's first cake was in a easy bake oven. <laughs> <laughs> so this cutter actually, I mean, you can see it's not too, too wide. So it's, it's, it's a narrow cutter, but it's a really nice cutter. So if I go from the ear to like, it's four inches. Yes. Yeah. So I would say overall, like the size, the area is about three inch. If I kind of like three and a half top, maybe because you see like, this is narrow there. This is one inch only. So three inches here. So if you add everything up, I think it's the, the area of a three inch. They look like they might be the manufacturers of the Wilton cut, cut cutters, eh? By the look of them, the R and M. Yeah, like they because they wholesale. So yeah, yeah, they, yeah, the R and yes, yes, R and M has. They have been in a business for a very long time. People don't know the brand because they don't. To be honest, I don't think they do. They do all the marketing. They just um, have their cutters, and then they, I guess, yeah, it's a wholesale. Yeah, I think they're wholesalers. So, um, talk, this talk cutter, I, I got it from a friend who worked at R and R, R and M for a long time. So, um, oh, they were around where you used to live when you lived in the states. They that's where it, they actually were like behind the corner, like literally like close. They, the business was very close by. They were they are Pennsylvania based. Technically, if you were making your first cake in an easy bake oven, you could, it's debatable. It was sometimes looked like a cookie. So it was maybe like kind of both because the, the the cake pan was so shallow. It looked like a big cookie. <laughs> so again, I'm going <laughs> to do the eyes and I'm going to, what I do. So here I'm using a marker. It's super easy. So I'm just basically just making small dots just so I know where to pipe the, well, where to uh, draw That's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. I love what I wet. How are you, Anne? So um, now I'm going to do the little heart. And uh, one thing to remind you, if you haven't worked with markers on real icing, you can see I'm drawing on, on it. So it means the surface is dry and hard. So if you want to be able to do that, you have to let the icing dry overnight. Otherwise, your marker is going to... Um, damage the surface and make a little hole. 
Oh, look at his 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 um <laughs> he's like a little sideways. <laughs> Hypothetically, hypothetically, you're doing this in your home and you're drawing and you go through the icing and you make a hole in your icing. That could happen. Well, yeah. depending on where the hole is, one of the options you would have, if it's in the nose or the eye, would be, I guess, to make a, a little batch of, like, to not make a whole new batch, but to pigment some oh. icing. <laughs> and, like, use a... Sprinkle and just slap it on, and it's like, oh, it's sprinkle. You know, he's got there's something cool on something. If there's a hole, no, I I know what you could do. Let's say you made a hole in the nose or the eyes. You could pipe the dots for the eyes. Let's say in white. Let that dry, and then color in the dot with the black after. This this, this face is really weird looking. I have to say, it's like I don't know when I'm I'm like looking at the screen and trying to do it. He's uh, he's not a happy bunny, or she's not a happy bunny. Is there a, you know, I'm I'm actually working on a recipe for cannoli. Maria was looking for different. Uh, do we have any Italians here, please? Because I need uh, some uh, some uh, help. So uh, one of the recipes. I mean. Um, one of the lovely girls, all girls also sent me a recipe, but I didn't get a chance to look at it yet. So I was looking at like variations of um, cannoli recipes. So I'm mainly, mainly interested in the dough part because some some recipes call for egg, some don't call for the egg. So is it the egg or is it not the egg? Mm -hmm. And then also there is um, wine. Did you know there's wine included in the dough? Like I had no idea. Any cannoli bakers or what is it? It's fried cannoli, isn't it? Yes, it's fried. Yes, it's fried. It's Italian. It's fried. So there, a cute little bow. So here are my bunnies. And obviously, I made more. Oh, I need to. I'm sorry. Yes. So these are the bunnies we did today. And what are they missing? They are missing. Then could you put the bow at the neck so it could be a Mr. and Mrs. Yes. Yes, I could. I I should do that. So I'm going to. Um, yes. I think this one with uh, with holding the egg. Are you happy, Cynthia? Bye. Do I do another bow? See, that's is, it all, is it overkill? Well, uh, uh, no. I mean, it's a cookie. It's not like uh, you know what I mean. It's not a big deal. Okay, so let's do that, and then I'll sh quickly show you how I did um, carrots. Because I completely forgot we also have I also have the oops carrots. Okay. Oh, yeah, the little carrots. Yes. So there. So now for the carrots, those are super simple, and those could be used as, as filler cookies, guys. If you're making these, these take a little, a little more time, but with the transfers, they're not too bad. So for the carrots, um, you're just going to, again, outline with white. You're outlining the bottom of the cookie. And this is a small cookie cutter. You could also use... Um, a large cookie cutter for this. Italia Scovisita YouTube channel is a cannoli video. Okay, I will check that out. Yeah, there are so many different uh, recipes. There's like millions of them on the internet, but I just wanted to like see some of them, like I said, use maybe a whole egg. Some of them use egg yolk. Some of them use egg whites. So it's kind of, um, you know, sometimes hard to see, hard to know which one is traditional. So let that dry and then airbrushing with orange. Now, orange airbrush, I find it doesn't always come with the set of, like, if you're buying a set of airbrush colors. So this is, I believe, I don't have the airbrush color here, but I think it is AmeriColor brand. I didn't get the orange with the Chef Master. Do you, do you have a ready-to-go orange or do you have to mix your I own? Do. I do. I actually got an electric airbrush set. And the orange was in that, and I have a few oranges from my drip color uh, order mm -hmm. that I made. Because yeah, so if you if you really like like for, for Halloween, it would be ideal to have uh, orange to airbrush. So That's make true. sure if you if you're getting uh, airbrush color, make sure that it includes orange if you are looking for that color. It may not be given that the orange is included. And now we're just going to ice the top with green, and then I also have I'm going to finish this live. Kathleen is saying no egg, yes to the wine. 
Mars, uh, th does it have to be Marsala wine? Like, can I just use any white wine? Because I also, um, okay, Mary, okay, Caitlin, you know my email. <laughs> or, or you can find my email. Um, okay, so now here are the cookies that you just saw me decorating now with the airbrush. Um, you don't want to kind of introduce any moisture to this. If you drop a water, drop a water on this, the airbrush color will start to kind of like separate and you'll, you'll have a, a bit of a mess there. So now I'm going to, and this is optional. You can just, I think it's pretty as it is, but I always want to, you know, make things com more complicated. <laughs> so I'm going to just add a little outline here. Oops, going a little too fast here. Joanne's saying no wine. Not any, no, not, not any wine, okay. Hmm. Oh, awesome, that's fantastic. I'm glad that you were able to um, find it. Now you could also do this. I'm gonna do two loops. And my icing is on a runnier side here. Oops, again, uh, cut off. Can't see very well here, so sorry. And now, if you wanted to do it a bit, do a little bit of um, sanding sugar, we can use some white sanding sugar here. Oops. I love anything being on my thing. That's like my favorite, one of the favorite. Thanks, Debbie. So there, and then I'm not dipping it in on purpose because my icing was a bit runnier. So if I dip it, it's going to get really like squished. So yeah, this is royal icing. So here are the carrots, two variations. Here you can't really see the loops too, too well, but they are there. So you can choose the design you want. And these are very simple. And you could also use these. Um, I was thinking of doing uh, minis. Like if you wanted to fill a jar with cookies, so this these cutters from Kali. Oh, it is important the masala wine. Oh, what if I just use any white wine? <laughs> She's saying yes to the wine, but not just. Why is, it, why is it important? Why is it important? Does it have? I don't know a lot of like what the masala wine is. It like specific taste. Sorry, I have a lot of questions about that. Like champagne, causing it to do the bubbles that are in, like, kind of? I don't know. I read, like, some people suggested that you can use basically any wine. If you use red wine, obviously the red is going to uh, cause the color of your dough to be kind of, like, reddish. So here are the cookies, and you can use these. Here are some of, some of these. Are you making uh, cannolis for the next live stream? No, no. <laughs> no, that involves like frying and all. Do you want me to get some burns on me or something? I'm pretty sure I'll be like, you know. So um, love your project today, Han. Everybody okay. loves it. Here are my bunnies, guys. And again, reminder for those of you who are following me on Patreon, who are uh, my patrons on Patreon, you will get this template um, in two days, pretty much. Or maybe I will upload it tomorrow so you guys can have it. And those of you who are not following me or not sub subscribed to my Patreon, you can. Oh, it's a certain flavor. Yes. Mascarpone. So you use mas mascarpone. That's interesting because it specifically said sheep or cow cheese. Ricotta cheese. I'm sorry, ricotta cheese. Apparently, there is a big like uh, discussion of how much flavor sheep cheese because it's harder to get uh, ads and how much flavor does cow I mean, I did my... I'm telling you, I'm researching. So you can also purchase a template to uh, make the, all the little decorations in my coffee shop. And this is uh, what um, you know it looks like in my shop. You can just hit buy now, and it's a digital download, so it will go. Some of you probably, if you're not familiar with how it works, it gets downloaded usually in your downloads on your computer, I would assume, because sometimes I get emails, people don't, don't see the download, so check there. And if you have a trouble, just email me and with your invoice, and I will be able to send you the um, um, link. 
our file. Oh, so you thanks, can that was awesome. All right, so I'm actually going to, I think, take Friday off, so I will not be here. But Marlin and Amber of Sweet Ends will be here uh, entertaining you and decorating lovely cookies. It's going yeah. to be April 1st, so I wish I could pull you guys somehow, but I don't, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> bon, bon, wrappers make good cannoli shells. Bon ton, what's that? What's a, what's a wonton wrapper? It's, uh, it's like, you know, uh, the Asian kind of little uh, dough that you put, you fill like in a soup. You oh, know? oh, like you can, you use that to make the cannoli shells. Like, oh, it's already, you don't have to even make the dough. It's fantastic. Yeah. I guess in a pinch. Yes. Thanks, everybody. Let me find my slide here. Well, thanks, everybody. See you Friday. Bye, guys.